What is going on guys? Um, this is Insane FMX or Dominic Saulnier. Uh, I am here to teach you guys how to do a freestyle motocross in MX Simulator. Now, the basic tutorial for backflips and 360s ha has been done on Start Your Systems channel or Kellen Brower. Um, he has the techniques down pretty well. Um, I can give you a couple tips for 360s as well to kind of get them more flattened out. But for what he has, they are quite, quite well. Um, but I'm mainly here to teach you guys how to do cork 720s and double flares and the, and the very difficult double cork 1080. Now, quick side note, before I go into the bigger tricks, I'm going to give you a little bit more rundown of how to do a cleaner 360. As you see, I come in, I crank on a lot of an angle, and I lock the rear brake about halfway around the rotation. Um, as locking the rear brake tends to kick you out a bit more, this is more of an underflip in my opinion, but it, it is underflips in 360s are all depend on how you come into the face of the jump. If you if you really carve into it, you can really get a nice flat 360. If you come in more straight like I did here, it kind of kicks into a bit of an underflip. But yeah, as you see, what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your front tire to the top of the jump, right before the top, and you're going to dump the clutch and lean back on an angle. And what it's going to do is it's going to kick you off into a bit of a rotation. Now, as you see, I've already locked the rear brake quickly to kind of help get it more defined as it does look like a somewhat proper 360 from the back. A bit of bit under flipped out, but not too bad. So, starting off, we'll do the cork 7. You want to come in, lock your clutch up before you hit the face. And then right as you get to about about here, on the face of a jump, especially on this track, you're going to find a nice sweet spot with, with the traction. Somewhere right as your front tire gets near the top of the face, you're going to drop the clutch and lean back. As you can see, I have just started to lean back about now. And it pops off the face. And if you look, my tire is still spinning. I'm holding it wide open. And right when you get to just before you complete the first flip, you're going to lock your rear brake. And it'll throw your spin much more into a flat spin. And you're going to continue to lean the opposite direction, same way you would do a 360. And it'll, it should come around just fine. So as you kind of come into the face of the jump, you want to angle yourself just a titch and pull back in on an angle and it'll pop off lock the rear brake and it'll just come right around now it's all timing in it but once you get it down they're quite easy now the next trick I'm going to teach you is a double flare double flares are actually probably the most technical trick to do at least on this jump um, as it requires both a rear brake lock and a front brake lock. They both have to be timed quite well to get the rotation around clean, but it's you all have to find that timing on it. Uh, I'm going to try to teach you my best is when to grab the front brake because that's the hardest one to time. But you're going to come to the face, get enough speed to clear the jump relatively fine. You're going to hold your clutch in, and as you get right to the top of the jump, just like a backflip or just like anything else, I tend to shift up a gear to get more pop. And you're going to dump the clutch, lean back on an angle like you're doing a 360. And you should be able to tell by how fast you're spinning that you, you'll have it, you'll know if you have it right off the bat or not. Now, right when you, just like a cork 7, right when you get around the first rotation, you're going to lock your rear brake and it's going to start throwing you into a flat spin. And right about halfway around the flat spin, you're going to lock your front brake. As you can see, my front wheel isn't spinning anymore. Uh, I don't tend to 
I find that if you lean while your front brake's locked, it throws your axis off, so I kind of let go of the stick a little bit and give only small adjustments. Um, the front brake lock is going to throw the rotation around properly, but it all has to be perfectly timed. And right as you come around, just spot the landing and land. And it's as simple as that. So, at high speeds, it should look like this. You pop the clutch, grab the rear brake, grab the front brake, spin it around, and land. The final trick I'll be showing you guys is a double cork 1080. This trick is just the hardest for me to do, at least just because getting the pop right is damn near impossible. Um, but you're going to come into the face like you would for a 360. You're just going to come in pretty, relatively straight but on a bit of an angle. And you're going to pull on an angle like normal. Pop the clutch at the top of the face right when your front tire gets right to the top. Lean back and pop the clutch. And right after that first rotation, I actually don't lock the rear brake on it. I don't do any locking of the brakes at all on it. In fact, I just hold it fifth wide. And it just kind of comes around. High speeds it looks something like this. Just kind of pop a clutch in. Oh, there's just quick rear brake tap on that one. But... When it comes down to it, the rear brake is really only there to help get that um, flat spin kind of more flattened out and more uh, defined than what it would be without the rear brake. Um, so yeah, thanks uh, for coming in and watching my uh, FMX tutorial. I hope this helped you guys in any way to get these tricks uh, landed and probably done a bit better than what you may have been doing before. Um, I know the rear brake technique isn't used by a whole lot of people, but it is uh, very good at getting rotations a lot more clean and defined. And uh, yeah, um, if you guys hit my, the subscribe button, that'd be greatly appreciated. I have a surprise for when I get to 100 subscribers. And uh, yeah, take care and have a good night.